All right, Trigos, what's happening? It's game day or night as it's an 8pm kickoff tonight. Anyways, we are off to the hive. It is Barnet v Yeovil Tan. Now, Yeovil Tan's nickname is the Glovers, dating way back since the 18th century. Yep, you guessed it. It's because they make condoms. I'm joking. It's because they make gloves. For your willy. No, it's not for your willy, it's for your hands. Now, Yeovil Town are currently sitting 17th, and the last five games have been one win, two losses, and two draws. And the last five away games have been, funny enough, exactly the same. One win, two losses, and two draws. Now, Yeovil Town's danger man, if selected, could be Francois Zoe, who has five goals in 25 appearances, Otis Khan, who has five goals in 21 appearances, and Otis Khan leads the way with most assists at three in 21 to his name. Now, last time Barnett met Yeovil Town in the league ended in a 1-0 victory to the bees that day, Alex Nichols getting the only goal for the bees. An 84th minute winner giving Barnett all three points that day. Now, the last time Barnett played Yeovil at home ended in a 4 3 victory to Yeovil Town that day. Michael Gash and John Kindy getting two goals was on the score sheet for the bees that day. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough as Yeovil Town managed to nick a last minute winner, making it 4 3 on the day, giving Yeovil Town all three points that day. Now, Barnett have only played Yeovil Town five times in their whole entire history. And Barnet have never beaten Yeovil Town at home. So you know what's coming. Not only are we due a win against Yeovil Town, we're due a win full stop. Team's currently not in because I am quite early. It is 25 past five. So once the team's in, obviously I'll bring that to you. Now you guys know what starting lineup and formation that I would go with. So we'll wait and see if anything corresponds to that. Right, so the team's in. We're going with Boucher in goal, Clough at right back, Nelson, Dembele centre after Tonda at left back. Valetti is right wing, champion, Watson centre mid. Campbell Rice on the other side. Akinola, Kindy up front. We'll wait and see what happens. 30 minutes played, 1 0 Yeovil. Mistake by Clough. To be honest with you, again, we've started off well. First 10 minutes again, we started well. Why do we always do this? They're number 13, dance through four of our players, though. Quite easy. Nearly scored from it. But other than that, I know, we need to up our game again. We really need to up our game. Come on, Watson, get a good ball in. Yeah! Come on, you bees! Right, back in this 1 1. Sick and tired of chasing these games. Come on. Corner from Watson. On goal. Might be an on goal, might be Nelson's, I don't know. So it's half time and it's 1 1. Been pretty even to be honest with you. I'm state by Clough led to their goal. Other than that, it's not been much. We need to up our game. We're going behind again. We're going up against teams that are there for the taking and somehow we still just can't match them. Don't understand it. Duncan! As, Ma as Matt said, they're there for the taking and I just don't understand how we're not beating them. Nelson was given the goal. I think it was an own goal, but we'll wait and see. See it on the replay. I'm pretty sure it was an OG. Clough had a nightmare again. Awful back pass. Gave the keeper no chance. Deflected in. But again, Clough so far, he's been good for four goals the season all to the other side oh he's got one hasn't he for us but yeah so at the moment it's, yeah so at the moment it's clough one for barnet four for the other teams but anyway here we go second half i reckon we should be on for 3-1 gotta be 3-1 i think we need goals matter don't we that would help to win a game yeah right so akinola's down injured he's been down injured for a while they just brought the stretcher on so it looks quite nasty which and unfortunately now leaves a short up front but well it's the 82nd minute plus injury time we need to start pushing on because at the moment nothing has changed since kevin nugent's come in yeah! Kick, played in. I don't know. Come on, you bees! 2-1 Barnet. Free kick from Watson. I don't know if it went all the way and hit the post to win in, or Clough got a touch on that. To be honest with you, I don't care. We win in. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Cause they got no hair. <laughs> in the 90th minute, they've equalised. 2-2. Four minutes plus injury time. And Malusa gave the ball away after Colton done a lovely bit of work up there. No one supporting apart from Watson. Sloppy. In their half, he's gave the ball away all the way down the other end and they've scored from it. It's shit. So I just got back to the cart and the game finished. Barnet 2, Yeovil Town 2. So I just want to start with a couple of positives before I delve into the game. Now, I thought Bouchel had a really good game. Safe hands. I'm really liking him in goal. I don't think both goals were either one of his fault. So Tonda, I thought, had a good game. Ryan Watson, I thought, played really well. Personally, I thought he was man of the match. And I think it's been his best game since being in a Barnet shirt. Now, hopefully, people can see what I'm starting to see. Akinola, unfortunately, came off injured. It looks like he's on his way to the hospital. So hopefully, he's not out for a long time. Because now that only leaves us 
theoretically with one striker, which is John Akindi. Now let's get down to the nitty and gritty of the matter. Where did it go wrong yet again? A 90th minute goal. Is it lack of concentration? Is it lack of fitness? I still don't know what one it is. Now I've always said, and you know what my starting team would be with Clough. He's not a right back yet. For some reason, we keep playing him right back. Now it's not his fault, I guess, we're playing him right back because if he's get told to play there, he's going to play there. But should the player turn and say, boss, it's not my natural position. I'd rather not play there in case it jeopardizes the team. Or do they just think, do you know what? I'm getting game time. I'm going to get in a match fee. If we win, I'm going to get their parents fee. I don't know what one it is. Do you think about yourself or do you think about the consequences? What could happen to the team? Valetti's not had a great game. To be honest with you, Valetti's gone downhill a little bit as well. And I don't know what it is. And this is what I'm saying. Is it since Martin Allen has left? And I know I keep banging on about it, but we wouldn't be getting these performances under Martin Allen. People complain about how he was and hoofball and everything, but he knew how to get the best out of his players with what he got. And they played for him. And I'm gutted. Do you know what? I'm not even gutted. I don't even know what it is that I am because we've gift wrapped to them two goals. Clough literally gave them a goal, passed it without either looking or maybe no one gave him a shout the same man on. They ran on, gone through, hit the keeper, but it's gone into the goal, unfortunately. The second goal, it looked like we was doing all right. We was attacking. Coulson, bang, running through. There's about six oval players around him. Apart from Watson, there was no one else there in support. Watson's passed it over to, to Amazora. The ball's gone out of play, thinking it's going to be our throw. It's not. It's gone to Yeovil. They've gone literally straight down the other end. Bang, goal, 2-2. Two, two. Another gifted mistake by us. And there you go. I have a point on us, basically. This happened too many times again. Now, this is where you need to look at it. Is it the players? Is it the manager? I don't know. I was always willing to give Kevin a chance here. But since he's come in, I don't see what he's bringing. I don't see that anything is changing. I really don't. It seems like it's the same tactics. It's the same players week in, week out. I felt sorry for Colson. If Colson can't break into this team, what's the point in fucking having him on the bench? I do think Kevin has lost the dressing room, though, because he was shouting at Tom Champion, and Tom Champion was having to go back at him, basically not agreeing with what he's having to say. Now, I would never see that under Martin Allen. To be honest with you, I don't really see that much under main players. You know, they've got to be professional. They've got to keep it nice and tidy. But he bit back and was like, I ain't standing for this, mate. So I reckon he's lost the dressing room there, personally. And as we was leaving as well, we went into the club shop and we saw Tony and we saw Tom Watt. Tom Watt used to be in EastEnders and now he's on the radio. And we said, look, you know, what do you think of it? And he said, to be honest with you, I better not say anything because I might regret what I'm going to say. Now, if the chairman is that fucking pissed off, things need to change straight away. Now, you could argue and say, well, the chairman's the one to blame. He put him in charge. The chairman probably gave him a chance thinking, go on then, mate, see what you can do. And it just hasn't worked. It really hasn't worked because this is six game in charge now. We're still without a win under him. How many games is that now? 12 games without a win? Sorry, in my last video, I said that we've got some tough games coming up and four of the teams are below us. That's two down, both been draws, both at home. We go to Notts County this Sunday, who are below us. Then we're at home to Cheltenham, who are below us. I know I said we've got to get behind the team and someone come up to me at the end of the game and said, like, you know, you've got to try and stay positive and everything. And it's so hard when you're watching that, it really is because I can sit here and say, well, what, what did Jovel do? What did we do, to be honest with you? We didn't have a great game. We had a couple of individual, I think, performances. Other than that, it wasn't the greatest again. And I, I struggled to see where we went eight games unbeaten. We went on a nice little run. We was in the playoffs to look where we are now. It's just like we've shit ourselves. So the hunt for Kevin Nugent's win continues. We go to Notts County on Sunday. What team is he going to put out again? I don't think the tactics is working. I think he needs to change it up. So guys, that's all I've got for you now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. I'm trying to stay as positive as I can, but I am very, very struggling at the moment. And if this continues, it's not going to be a happy ending. So until next time, I'll see you later.